Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the Hornet Report. Buzzing in, I'm Sienna Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino. December is finally here, everyone. Happy Hanukkah and almost Merry Christmas to those who celebrate. It really feels like forever since we've seen our Hornets. It's been way too long, but fortunately, we get to fill them in on all of our Thanksgiving Spirit Week festivities. Exactly. The boys' soccer win over Glen Rock, the pep rally, and, of course, Powder Puff. <laughs> In case there are any new Hornets on here, Powder Puff is an annual game where the upperclassmen girls play flag football and the boys are the cheerleaders. This year, we have two different perspectives. The senior zombies from Sienna's point of view and... Wait, what was that other team's name again? I don't know, but we'll think about it while we watch the seniors tear up the field. Cue the montage. I hope this year that we won't need to go into overtime. Apocalypse is coming. We're going down, juniors. Down! Watch out. Juniors are, they're, they're done, they're done. Um, we're playing hard, that's all I care about. That's right, Junior Lightning. No, 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 Jess. You're thinking of the undefeated class of 2019. This year, we versus the Junior Jaguars. That's right. Jess Duff shows us what Powder Puff looks like from the Junior side. Jess? I hope we win. I think we're gonna take this win and make the seniors cry. Even if my click would have picked and the people would have vote, it's a few the proud and the emotional. Yo, you bulletproof and black like a few. What would you like to call? Heads. Heads is burning, but we're so cool. It is a heads. this year that you can bring into next year's Powder Puff? I think we have to be a lot more aggressive. More aggressive, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. <laughs> more aggressive. But it was fun. I liked it. Thanks, Jess. And better luck next year, juniors. Now over to Jack Samet with more Homedale Sports News. We've done it again. The boys soccer team has won the Groove 2 championship for the second year in a row. The game saw the boys battle Glen Rock. And after being down by a goal, the boys quickly got the goal back and then scored two more in the second half, making the final 3-1. I was at Keene University to capture all of the action.
guys just won state championship. You had an amazing performance. How do you feel? I feel pretty good about it. I'm just happy that we could bring it home for our school. <laughs> you guys just won state championship. How do you feel? Fans fantastic, especially transferring from CBA, coming to the Homedale team, my new family. Home Dell's better. Home Dell's better than the state, CBA. boys. Number one team in the state. It feels like it's a great feeling. It feels amazing. Two-time champ. I'm gonna miss you next year. Great way to end my yeah. high school career. And I have the best. I have the best minutes to goal ratio. You guys just won state champions. How do you feel? I feel fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Any words for everyone? Go Tom Brady! Yeah! You guys just Let's won go. You guys just won state championship. How do you feel? No better feeling in the world. Uh, this is the senior class. We've been trying to go back to back all year. All year and we got it, so it feels great. Great job boys. In other sports news, congratulations to the girls cross country team on their historic season. They finished third in the meet of champions at Homedale Park, their best finish in school history. They also ended the season ranked number three in the state of New Jersey. Great job to all of our sports teams this season. I'll see you in the winter. I'm Jack Samet, and that's the buzz in Homedale Sports. Thanks, Jack. Now it's time for our Outside the Nest. Jess, take it away. On Wednesday, December 5th, thousands gathered to mourn the loss of former President George H.W. Bush. The 41st President's Funeral Service was held at the Washington National Cathedral. President Trump and the four other living presidents were in attendance, along with several dignitaries from around the world. President Bush was eulogized by his son, George W. Bush. Mr. Bush said, quote, He showed me what it means to be a president who serves with integrity, leads with courage, and acts with love in his heart for the citizens of our country. Rest in peace, President Bush. Thank you for your service. Thanks, Jess. Recently, in Amsterdam, 69-year-old Emile Rattelband filed a court case to reduce his age because he feels 20 years younger. Rattelband says that he thinks his life and performance on dating apps would improve if his legal age were 49. Though he lost his court case, it didn't dampen his spirits as he plans to appeal. Contrary to critics' beliefs, Rattelban denied bringing his case to discredit transgender people, but he feels he can compare his age identity to their gender identity. Thanks, Sienna. Now it's time to show off that Homedale spirit. Chris Hyun reports on the Thanksgiving pep rally, where the seniors continued their sweep and won. Powder puff, then pep rally. Chris, take it away. What's buzzing, Homedale? I'm Chris Hyun, and I'm here at the first pep rally of the year. Let's get right into it. It was just going to be easy because the kids that we had and then the uh, juniors actually gave us a pretty good fight because we thought we were done and next thing you know, they actually pulled us back. But it was fun. How was the energy here today? The energy here was great. Mr. Scott, she thought maybe if we get a student to MC that everybody would kind of be more okay with like, getting loose and being more spirited. It was great. Playing tug of war with a sprained ankle isn't recommended. But the school spirit here was amazing. Happy Thanksgiving and back to the studio. And that's all we have for today. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media. Our Instagram and Twitter is at HHS Hornet Report and our Snapchat is at Hornet Report. Stingulator, I'm Sienna Rampula. And I'm Jess D'Agostino.
Join us next week where we'll bring you this week's best at HHS. Thanks, Jess. And... Thank you.